G'day guys, here we are for yet another episode of this True Footy AFL Evolution Career Mode. Uh, we are playing Carlton at the MCG, a ground that, how many times have we played here? I'm just trying to work out this season. We've played Collingwood with there, played Richmond there. That might be the only two other occasions we've played at this great ground. The home of football, as they say, and the Carlton Blues are languishing, well I wouldn't say languishing actually, they'd probably be happy with where they are. I think they're in about ninth spot playing for um, a spot in the finals, which would be a remarkable achievement, a remarkable turnaround from David Teague in just his second season in charge. These Eagles are coming off a near 100-point win in the Derby against Fremantle, which I particularly enjoyed, as you'd expect. And now they stride out in perfect conditions to take on Carlton. In team news, uh, Barras is still out for a while, and I think it was... Oh, goodness, it's starting to escape me. I think it was Redden that might have uh, been injured, and we've had to replace him. Okay, I just looked it up. It was Petricelli is out, and Redden is in. Oscar Allen's got a chance here to open the scoring. He's kicked it across the face. What are you doing, mate? Good mark there from Darling on the outskirts of the 50. He's within range, I reckon. not. Pops it to the top of the square. Josh Kennedy can't quite bring it down, but Oscar Allen makes up for that earlier brain fade, and he socks it off the ground. The Eagles are off the board. Yes, great tackle there from Elliot Yo, the skipper. The Eagles have withstood an early onslaught from the Blues, and now they are two goals up to nothing. Oh, Mitch McGovern, too strong for young Harry Edwards there. Outbodies him. Got a few kilos on the young 20-year-old or so. And he makes it count with a goal to the Blues. Oh, he's picked out a very, very loose Carlton player. Kerner. Oh, okay. Questionable free kick there. Entering the protected area. I think that would have been very, very tight. But uh, Ed Kuno is going to line up. He's got the legs on it. It's a goal. Damn, costly error from Oscar Allen there on the mark. What? Giving themselves another free kick for the same reason. I don't think I actually did anything. Carlton's going to get another shot on goal out of it. Pitney lines up for one of his first. Uh, he passed the Fisher. And this should probably be a goal. So two goals in a row from Ithi, 50 metre penalties. The Eagles can count themselves a little unlucky, I reckon. The ball mopped up. Jetta with the ball. The loose ball picked up. Decides to kick. Oh, Cameron Polson has out-muscled the far taller Jared Brander. Some questionable defence going there from the Eagles. Carlton are 100% controlling the momentum of this game. He's missed though. Goodness me. Oh, a goal out of nowhere for Carlton. Levi Kasbolt, off one step, has nailed it. Oh, <laughs> bit unlucky there. I thought I uh, aimed that correctly at the three Eagles players, but evidently not. Zeddy Betts looks to make me pay from the pocket. Oh, he's. Bloody done well there, Charlie Kerno. The Blues are all over these Eagles. Oh, here we go. Oh, the old throw over the head and umpire pays it a goal. Questionable animation there, but either way, Carlton are smashing the Eagles. William Duggan should take an uncontested mark. He doesn't. But he should still kick the goal, he doesn't. Incredible. Incredible scenes. Oh, bad turnover here. Jamie Cripps. That was an inexplicable mistake. I think it was Mark Murphy. This should give the Eagles their first in a while. He's put it through. They cut the momentum slightly. 
Uh, after a string of behinds, the Eagles are now only down by 18. Oh, I've been betrayed by Liam Duggan running the wrong direction. That set off a chain of events. I just got a player caught out of position at the wrong time. Now Carlton have the certain goal. Don't tell me they're going to shrug back to Oh, Mitch McGovern, under pretty much no pressure, takes the fairly uncontested mark over the youngster Harry Edwards. He's winning this one-on-one -on -one battle today. This will make it 28 points if we... Is he still... Yeah, he's still there. Good. That is right on half time as well, and it's clear who has been better, the better team so far. Mind you, we've had more inside 50s, but they've been shit inside 50s. You can see four handballs. I really don't use that feature a lot in this game. I don't really trust that it's very, very hard to get an accurate handball off, I reckon. Um, so I reckon that might be something they need to work on. But contested possessions, 46 to 24, is probably the main source of where Carlton are dominating. Jack Noons has 10 playing as that loose player. Zach Fisher has probably been one of the better players as well with two goals. A rare bit of time and space for the Eagles. Oscar Allen, he can't mess this up. He's going to dribble it home. The Eagles get a reply. Here we go, another open goal. Wow, straight from the centre. Carlton have well and truly entered that God mode I've mentioned in the past. I didn't even get anywhere near getting a possession there. Hey, somewhere out of nowhere, Liam Ryan gets the goal. The Eagles get a much badly needed response. You'd most most times you'd count the Eagles out from here, but uh, they've won from more one-sided games than this. Oh, I didn't even know I had the ball there. Might get away with it, and he's shanked it. Why can't I kick goals from on the run on an angle? That's not actually a very hard kick. But there was no pressure. He wasn't sprinting. The Eagles still hope hmm. What did you think of the third that turn, is three-quarter time. It's been a bruising affair. We trail by 29 points, and that's probably reflective of the difference between these two teams. The Eagles haven't quite lifted to their normal intensity, and Carlton have been way too good in the contest. Oh, free kick awarded to the Eagles here. Doesn't quite see the man he wants in time. It's going to be a one-on-one -on -one contest with Josh Kennedy. He's plucked it. A rare mark for Josh Kennedy that close to home today. He's battled hard, but there hasn't been a lot of supply. He gets one back there. Oh, Liam Ryan, the second goal off the grass this evening. Oh, the Eagles are mounting a huge comeback here. Liam Ryan marks again. He's got at least two today. This would be huge. This would lift the boys. He's put it through. The margin's back to 11. The Eagles are in this. Oh, Liam Ryan's done so well there. This is going to be a goal to the Eagles. He's put it through. It's back to five points. These Eagles... Never say die. Can Liam Ryan repeat his heroics? He might just do. He might have this in him. Can he run all the way? Liam Ryan has played one of the best quarters of any Eagle this season. The Eagles have hit the front. No way. Tim Kelly could put the Eagles seven points in front. How have they done this again? Oh, Murphy finds himself uncontested. He's got an opportunity here to stabilise for Blues. For the Blues, rather. 
Oh, they've been accurate today. He's put it straight through the middle, back to one point. Oh, Jack Martin has plugged the gap. Thought McGovern was all over that one. He's going to take the mark. The Blues are about to hit the lead. He's put it through. He has the ball. Gets a quick kick away. The Blues might have done enough here. Gets a handball away. Oh, it's a poor handball back into play. He's kicked the goal. Marchbank has buried the Eagles. They will not come back in this one. It's going to take a very good kick to reach JK. It's not good enough. It was a poor kick, in fact, but Carlton have somehow it escaped a complete final quarter collapse to overcome the Eagles and win by 11 points. That's going to be huge for their final eight chances under Teague. The Eagles lose yet another thriller. Pretty much all four losses this year have gone five points, four points, four points, and now 11 points. That was nearly five points as well, but I can't fault the endeavor of these Eagles playing a tough away game. We really caught up. We were 10 inside 50s more, but off a lot less disposals. But overall, not quite good enough. And Kerno, Murphy and Nunes uh, voted best of field. No Eagles. That's Ritz, Stiffer, Liam Ryan. He had one of the all-time last quarters. Four goals and ten possessions. Close to man of the match for me, but doesn't even get a vote. It's a midfielder's award after all. Overall, we had a huge last quarter. Six goals to three. We hit the front, but overall... Oh, in fact, we led by seven points, but we weren't quite good enough to take home the four points. There you have it, guys. The Eagles sit 14 and 4 with a percentage of 136, still comfortably in top spot. And our next game comes up against the bottom, the bottom side in Port Adelaide. That is incredible. They find themselves below Gold Coast, Fremantle, and the Bulldogs. When we consolidate... Well, not, not consolidate. We lost. We are in top spot safely. And the Blues, who just beat us, are still in ninth. And St. Kilda have snuck into the top eight, I think, for the first time this season. It's going to be an intriguing battle next week when we take on Port because they often play well in Perth against us. I think they've beaten us in Perth the last two times they've travelled over here. So I'm expecting a good game. But overall, it will be nice to make a statement and win after a really disappointing loss against the Blues today. Anyway, guys, hope to join you in, or hope you join us in the next episode for a big clash with the Port Adelaide Power. See you then.